morning everybody and happy Saturday and we're back again so we have got the seals around guys they're actually all in front of me now and we've got a few which are actually popping their heads out of the water coming to say hi and uh, just the most beautiful now if we stay down low hopefully I can keep signal in with you just to actually show you the where we're looking at but we've got some in the water as well so bear with me a second and we'll try and John, how are you, my friend? Just, I'm actually on a gimbal at the minute, so I got it on a tripod just to try and give you a, a sense of... Uh, they are quite a way away, but just to actually focus in on... Hi, Molly, how are you? Hi, Cathy. Good to see you. We've also got them in the water right in front of me as well. There's quite a lot turning up now, actually. So we'll come back, back again at these guys in front of me. But there's actually more than what they usually is uh, every time I come before. But you can actually, let me just come down and we'll see if we can see. You can see the heads poking up and... I'm good, Walt. How are you today? I'm all good. Hey, Jess, my friend, how are you? Can I just get a sound check? Because it is slightly windy and I've got uh, your back. I can see your back as well, yeah. I'm just trying to stay low at the minute, see if we can get some of these seals up very, very close to the bank. Now, they have, they have actually been up quite close as well. So I just want to show you right in front of me at the moment. I hear you well. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks, Jess. Bear with me a second, it's just that I'm zoomed in all the way, so let me just zoom out a little bit and we'll try and bring you some of the, you can actually see the heads poking up right in front of me here. Yeah, I've, I'll see if we can get a couple in, like, because they're more, they're more inquisitive of Teddy than they are of me, to be honest. Here we are, we've got them all over to the, my left, it's just, just every time I move the camera across. You can zoom in a little bit. Hopefully we'll get, there's a beautiful one out there, which is actually full. I must be fish nearby. John, they are here literally every time I come down to the beach. It's just absolutely incredible, like the mount. But there's actually more, if you look over to the right now, that's the start of them. On the bank in there, on the opposite side there, so relaxing, it's just as beautiful. But you can see that's the start of all the seals. Let me just zoom in there again. Uh, just come up a little bit. There we go. So that's the start of the, where the seal colony actually is. Hey, Caroline, how are you, my friend? Great to see you. We're just down here on the beach having a check out of the wonderful seals at the minute. So that's the start of them. I'd say there's probably more than a couple of hundred actually there. So looking across, Caroline, great to see you, my friend. <laughs> there is literally so many. It's incredible. Now, Teddy's just gone in. Happy Saturday, as always. Happy Saturday. There's some big guys there in front of you as well. Hey, Chad, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. So we're checking out the beautiful, oh, sorry, we've gone up a little bit, just out the bath, just out the bath. <laughs> Anything planned for today, Caroline? We're down on this beautiful beach. I'll show you in a second. I just want to, I've got my uh, gimbal and everything set up on a tripod, so it's actually stable and I can actually uh, get to show you a little bit more. Because obviously if it's moving around a little too much, then 
there's too much interference on there but just to actually show you the seal and then we've got over so they go all the way around i say there's a good five six hundred there definitely there's gotta be teddy's getting a little bit uh, they are there's one right in front of me now he's coming in one right down, down to my side but as soon as i turn the gimbal so it's just a matter of keeping it positioned waiting on a new washing machine then we'll be going out for a menda meander <laughs> i know i have to get out today i wasn't feeling the best last night like i i did a broadcast from the woods and everything last night what an amazing place oh it's just so beautiful and we're so lucky because we're on a sandbank it's quite a big sandbank i've actually put the uh the drone over here before but uh not a lot of people actually head across the rainy is still oh my god we've had that rain yesterday and uh on thursday was absolutely atrocious it was really really bad but today i think the rain's heading in back in again today where you can travel now i know that's it not uh international just yet but hopefully in time we will be able to travel internationally as well so i really want to get across to the uk at some stage this year whether it happens i don't know i booked uh, a couple of weeks off in september we're gonna head down to uh what's it called bear island down in cork and then we're actually heading out to the dingle peninsula as well so the beach is a bonus exactly cal and that's what i missed just before sunrise i was serenaded by a group of um barred owls they cackle like a bunch of monkeys oh my god that's awesome john that's awesome wow but yeah that's one thing i'd actually love to see i'd love to see the owls out in the wild like i've not had the pleasure of actually seeing the owls just yet but look at this lad in front of me. he's a big fella he is he really is there's a couple of big bull seals amongst them there and they are ginormous the poor thing there was one right behind me about uh, 10 minutes meter i know uh about 10 minutes walk towards my back here there was one uh, dead seal a big guy like and i think the all the uh the, the sea life the seabirds and everything could pecked at his eyes and everything it was so so sad to see you can see some of the size of these guys they are big lads or big girls should i say who knows How many are there? Well, approximately Caroline across in the water at the minute. I'd say we've got about uh, looking at it around about 20 or 30. But on under the far sandbag, right at the top of the picture there, uh, I'd say there's got to be three, four, five, six hundred maybe. If you look at the top of the picture there, that is all seals along the top. So let me do I'm actually zoomed in as much as I can. But what you find, I, I put a drone over there before and just to actually see them a little bit closer. Not that I was scaring them, I kept my good distance like, but uh, yeah, I got some good shots of the seals from up in the air, but absolutely loads. Uh, I definitely think that international travel should be avoided until the autumn at the early, I, Chad, I think, yeah, I, I will be traveling. I don't think, uh, I can't see me going abroad at all. That's so wonderful. The fishermen do not particularly care for the seals. John, they don't care for them at all. There was talk of, uh, I know a couple of years, well, last year, in fact, or the, no, the year before, because I didn't come down here at all last year because of COVID. I didn't have the opportunity to travel down here. But I know the fishermen were talking of basically culling down here because there was getting so many of them. Wow, Cathy. They've probably been used to no one visiting. I know, that's lots of seals. It is, Kathy, yeah. And like I say, they stretch all the way across as well. I don't know whether you can... I'll show you the end there. That is the end of the seals there. There's a huge... That's a huge seal. It is, Chad, yeah. I'd say there's got to be at least five... Oh, four or five hundred at least, I'd say. 
But I'm going to take a few pictures. I've got my big zoom lens as well on as well. So uh, we will take a few pictures. But what I'll do, I'll put it on the tripod. Once I finish with this, i got my... Uh, i got my... Oh, got to be careful. Teddy, Teddy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh no. That's a bit of water there coming a little bit too fast. I don't find uh, the tripod or anything, but I can't. Panic. <laughs> uh, different types, yeah, there are different types. There's actually white ones there as well, like. That's the most seals I've seen so close to the UK. I know, that's right, Chad. Let's just come back. Uh, as soon as I moved there, all these guys in the water were looking and uh, started to dip back down. But we've got them right in front of me again. Bear with me a second. Gimbal is so, so, so uh, touch sensitive. Like my God, you only have to touch it a fraction, and the and the phone actually zooms across. But we're just looking now. Hold on a second. I'll come in a little bit closer to the actual shore and just show you around this side here. They are actually quite close in again. You can see the heads of some of them there. <laughs> but if you stay low uh, for long enough, they will actually come up to the bank in life. There's a few of them who are very, very inquisitive. It's just, just beautiful. Now, if you look over to my left now, uh, if you can... Ah, oh, cheers, Caroline. Thank you. <laughs> it's just beautiful to see. Just a, a massive head on them. They are so, so big. Watching on our laptop now as couldn't tag on phone. Ah, oh, thanks a million, Caroline. You're very kind. Our poor little Teddy's looking right behind me at the moment. He says, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, they are. They, there's a lot of these which would be big bull seals, uh, Caroline. Now, if you look at a big bull seal close up, they're like six, seven foot long. They are huge. Would they be aggressive if you get too close? Not at all, Gala. I've actually, uh, one of my old dogs, Snoop, he actually, there was a baby up on the beach. Uh, it was going back a couple of years, actually. And Snoop actually come, come up to it and gave it a kiss. And it was so beautiful. I actually videoed it. I was so lucky to uh, be able to, at the same, same time, I had my, uh, my phone out and I videoed them together. And it was just the most beautiful moment seeing like the two sea dogs well one sea dog and a normal dog actually meet it was just absolutely spectacular it was beautiful but they're also over uh it, I, if i point now yeah my finger's too big but over in this direction there's also a, another sandbank so basically if you're looking directly in the middle of your picture now there's also a number of sandbanks there, and you can actually see them over on there as well. So I say there's got to be an absolutely huge colony. It really is big. What camera do you have, Walt, as I need to get one? Uh, I'll show you. Let me just zoom out a second, and we'll show you the actual camera. Uh, yeah. I don't know whether you can, that's my, 
there we go that's uh that's a d5600 okay so it's an icon but i've got the big as you can see i've got the big lens on it as well to get some good pictures of the seals later on as well but uh that's one i actually use that's the one i actually bought from uh, last year actually nature is the best what camo do you have what and i need to get one yes yeah, so this is the nikon now a lot of people swear by canon it's just that my father was a big nikon uh, put nikon uh, user where my sister lives in Chatham, Massachusetts, they have seals all summer long, which attract the great white. Oh wow, the great white sharks! My God. Yeah, I'm looking for zoom lens too. Yeah, this is a 300. So if you want any information, well, I'm not. I'm not a professional, Diane. Uh, Caroline, sorry, Caroline. <laughs> uh, I'm not a professional. I only went off a little bit of advice of the person I actually the the shop I bought it from, but I got the best deal as well. It actually come. From the, uh, the price of it was far cheaper if I could say shopped around and when you're buying something which is quite expensive as well it's always nice to get like a, a un, even if it's only a hundred or a couple hundred euro it makes a big difference Sony has been suggested I got a Panasonic last year but was disappointed so really yeah no I, I'd always uh, well I'd always recommend like the big uh, the big names i.e. the Canons the Nikons but my father was a photographer like this. Now, this is going back to the day. Obviously, technology has changed so, so much since he actually passed away. But uh, he was all into his Nikon uh, pictures, uh, cameras. But he was into the time when there was uh, uh, film cameras. He went into digital. If he ever's got to see this, are you liking the Nikon? I love it, John. Absolutely love it. I really do. Now, I should spend more time on the editing side. I take literally, I mean, on Glendalock the other day, I took four, 400 odd pictures. About 400 odd pictures at uh, Glendalock, and I, I just need to sit down. I think I posted about two or three of them. I need to spend a bit more time on the editing side. It's just I don't seem to have a lot of time. That is the problem here. We've got one guy who is getting pretty close. He's just down on my right hand side here. His head keeps going down, then poking back up again. So we'll see if we can catch him in a minute. But they're so, so inquisitive. I had a Nikon when younger, and it was great. Exactly, Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I really recommend the Nikons. I really do. There we go. Is, is he back up? Can you see him? I'll see if I can zoom in on him as well. But he is so inquisitive. That's the one a little bit further out, so he's not as far out as that. Is it warm temperatures? No, it's actually quite nippy, Caroline. <laughs> it is quite nippy. But it's not cold cold i don't have gloves and i've only got a light uh, a light jacket on today as well you're doing well cold for me here it was 20s last year i know that's right hold on a second see if we can get this they are like i say they are starting to come in a lot closer now now we've actually just zoom out a little bit. You can see you've got the mic covered well from the wind. Really, John, I, I've only got to. Hold on a second, I will just zoom out a second. I don't know whether you can actually see this. Mic, uh, the actual mic. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I've only got the actual mic put in there like then as you can see i'm only in a, a, a like a, a soft shell you got the mic covered well from the wind or guys or, or i don't know that does anybody know the sex of uh, different types of seals how to tell <laughs> well, you can actually see you see better than me i'm only on the little uh <laughs> hi caroline 
well, the inputs are doing good. Oh, that's good because sometimes when you're up the mountains, like there is a lot of wind noise. So, there we go. Yeah, that's all over. Hey, oh. Uh, oh, he's been such a good lad. Where are they? They come in. I wonder that too. Bear with me a second. I was zooming back. Yeah. And obviously, you open them up, and there's Back up again, a faction. Just attack wall, and you have to look at the bellies to tell the sex. Females have nipples. Good luck. All right, okay, Caroline. <laughs> Just check wall, and you have to look at their bellies to tell the sex. Well, I'm not actually going in there. <laughs> I'll leave that for the time being. Teddy's actually just behind me here. Bear with me a second. He's very, very inquisitive of himself. Teddy keeps looking at him and wondering what these are. Yeah, I think I'll leave the swim for today. I left my trunks at home. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> I don't know whether you can uh, whether you can hear the noise. I know I've got... Oh, my God. He is so close, this lad. Right. He's on the beach. He is being good at the moment, but he was Caroline because he was a bold boy. He wasn't. There was a little. Uh, I think he was a cavachon or something like this with a with an elderly couple walking on the beach. He was the cavachon was like on a lead and uh, wanted to be friendly. And Teddy went over it for sniff for a little bit, and then what did he do? He attacked the thing. So he wasn't, he was actually on broadcast as well. Oh my God. It was quite scary. Like, so I had to get him away pretty quick. He was okay. The other dog was okay in the end, but he's so, so protective of like me. Maybe he does have to dash now. Thanks for this beautiful stream. I need to buy some more. Oh, Caroline, no problem at all. I appreciate you dropping by. You're a star. And for those who don't know, please follow Caroline there. She does some awesome sunsets, sunrises down on the beautiful beaches. Right. Uh, so please give her a follow. Hi Debbie, how you doing? Did you bring a beach ball for the seals to play with? I did not. I bought a tennis ball and uh, it's in my pocket. And I might just get Teddy, while I've got this on a tripod, I don't have to obviously stay close to it. I can still talk to you because I've got the earbuds in and everything. And I think the sound is okay. So we'll just get him running. There you go, Ted. He's happy now. I'm throwing the ball for him. <laughs> But isn't that just a beautiful view watching the seals guy here on a beautiful beach on a beautiful day whether we're going to get I, I i'd imagine there could be a few showers later on but so far so good but the amount of seals around here is probably i mean even just around the other side are uh, haps uh, <laughs> too close I don't know what, whether that worked like. There was a hapsug bag. Thanks a million, Caroline. You're very, very... I got them. Yeah, oh, you're very, very kind. I appreciate that. So, so kind. I haven't seen that one before. The hapsug. I know. Awesome. I think there's a few new ones, actually. Let me just get uh, Ted's ball. 
It did, yeah. He come through, didn't it? <laughs> Just got in. Did I hear that out? Teddy got in a fight. Debbie, he did get in a fight, yeah. Not so much. Uh, it was a bit one-sided. Teddy uh, had a go at the other dog. He's got his uh, anti-social head on. I think he woke up a little bit too early this morning. <laughs> Hook a seal next time. Yeah, I know. I tell you, I'm getting that close. If I if I went for a paddle and it was warm enough, I'm sure they'd actually come up pretty close. They are right in front of me now. Look, guys. Uh, wait me a second. I need to get my. Thanks, Caroline. Have have a great day my friend and I'll jump into uh, one of your broadcasts later on as well so I really appreciate it. I'm just watching my feet here a second now they are or I need to visit are you really doing especially I noticed your uh, your comment on the Glenda Lock where I was on Wednesday you've actually been to there as well well yeah that'd be awesome you need to get across I'd love to see you across here have a great day. Oh my god. Good job I've got a tripod on there. I moved everything out of the way. Where's the ball, Teddy? Where's the ball? There will be a second guy to throw this for him. Yes, for a week. Uh, years. Yes, for a week. Yeah, definitely. Definitely need to get across. Same way I need to get across the right as well. What's the ball? Ready? Ready? Go! Sorry guys, you're hearing me talk to him. <laughs> but hopefully the signal's still holding up guys and the picture's okay. I'm just hoping that one of these will actually come in really, really close as well so you can actually get to uh, see them really close in as well. But it's just the most beautiful thing to actually see down on the beach and this is what I actually come down when I've missed this the past year I really are uh, I miss seeing the seals I've been coming down to watch these for the past what uh, oh, I don't know 10 years I'd imagine and they are here all the time for so those just joining guys I'm going to take you back to the other side there and just show you Across the other side, there all the seals on the other opposite bank in there. We're on a gimbal on a tripod at the minute, the ends uh, just to try and keep the camera still. And then we'll. John, how you doing? Good to see you. I think Caroline's just actually, uh, I think she's just gone. She's got to uh, get a few jobs and everything done. And then I think she's going out for a meander herself. Nice view. Of yeah, these are what you actually seen at the picture of the minute. They're basically just all seals. And that is the start. I don't know whether you can see all the way over to the right there. That's where the actual seal colony actually starts. And then it comes all the way down. I'm just trying to go slow on the gimbal here. All the way down. So I, I imagine there's probably, there's got to be five, 600 seals across there. Incredible the amount there. And then we've got a lot actually in the water in front of us as well. Like we're, they're very, very inquisitive. They, they're actually looking across at me now. I would have enjoyed getting a photo of the owls this morning, but it was too dark. Wakey, wakey, Walt. I oh, know. I, I can relax, uh, Brian. Brian, I can relax. I've got it. I've got you on the gimbal there, and I can. I can do all this work. Oh, hold on a second. Let's just. Uh, I 
to walk around and take it easy and <laughs> that's a good thing with these earbuds you can actually walk around and I think you can still hear I don't know hopefully you can still hear anyway but what a day guys and what a scene what a sight watching all the beautiful fields we've got lots in the water right in front of me as well No, I've not fell asleep yet. Uh, it's a little bit uh, too cool for me to fall asleep, actually. <laughs> but as soon as I stand up now, the seals disappear. They go back uh, probably another 20 or 30 foot. As soon as I come down onto the actual... Uh, uh, I, I start to kneel down again, and then they come in. They start to come in closer. They're very, very inquisitive. Damn, all you need is a beer now, then you're set. I know. Beer and a barbie. Wouldn't that be just so awesome? I really would, yeah. Look at this lad. Hold on a second. See if I can come across on him. It's hard to see on the phone actually it's, it's a lot more difficult than uh, i shouldn't really i've got the ipad with me as well it's a, obviously a bigger screen but then i wouldn't have been able to uh, put it on the gimbal a can of sardines will get there oh my god one in ever john yeah i didn't bring any food whatsoever today i bought teddy some food that's about all but, uh, Where we're snagging the barbecue sounds nice at the moment. Oh my god, yeah. Have you got the weather still there? Have you? Because you'll be heading uh, partly into your winter now, I'd imagine, Brian, aren't you? Is it still? Is the weather still okay out in uh, in Aussie land? Like I said, it was a time, uh, I think a couple of years, where they were actually thinking of culling these because there's getting so many. Now, I've noticed since the last time I was actually here, there was probably half as many as what there is now. I wish I'd have actually, are the seals deemed protected in iron? Not as I'm aware, John, no. Not as I'm aware. Because like I say, they were thinking of culling them. Bloody cold, mate. Wind two weeks away now. Oh, my God. Sorry to hear that, but... Yeah, you always laugh at me in the middle of winter when I'm, uh, well, not so much yourself, you probably will now. But there's a lot of the uh, the likes of Grant and everything, while you're putting your barbies and everything on, I've got my uh, my woolly hats on and scarves and everything, and I'm up the top of the mountain in the snow and you're having a barbie, so it's my turn now. <laughs> So they could be on to as far as I'm aware, John. I, 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 I don't know the actual facts on that, but I know, like I say, they were talking of culling them uh, last year and there was a lot of people opposed it as well. I know it's to do with the fish stocks and everything, which uh, obviously this amount of seals takes a lot of feeding. And you can imagine the amount of fish that they actually uh, they eat. I mean, if you're looking at 500 seals and the amount of fish must be astronomical. Move over, Walt. DJ's moving in, though. <laughs> not a bother, buddy. Not a bother. You're welcome over here anytime, my friend. You're welcome over here anytime. Just actually show you where I, I'm just going to take this off for a second, just zoom out a second, like I say. Uh, 
this is what he's up to. He just wants the ball. And that's my uh, my camera bag and everything there, which was a little bit too close for comfort. It's, uh, it's took a bit of a hammering just now with the actual sea coming in. Thanks, mate. Awesome. Move over. Oh, here we go again. The sea is actually coming in. But you can see this is actually a sandbank we're actually on at the minute now. You've got to be so, so careful because what actually happens is the sea behind here, it actually travels all the way down. Now, at the moment, we were fine. We actually crossed here. But if the tide starts to come in, what it does, it comes. You can see the water behind us just here. OK, so we follow this down the side. Now, there's a channel which takes it back out into the sea there. Now, when the tide actually comes in, it can get quite deep. And uh, I've been caught a couple of times being across here. Hey, Tina, how you doing? Top of the morning to you, geezer. Top of the morning, Bernie. How are you, my friend? Teddy, run, mate. <laughs> make what run. i know i remember a while uh, ago you got caught yeah john i think you were in the broadcast as well i was actually broadcasting at the time but look at this lad that's all he wants look he'll stand there and watch it until i pick it up bear with me a second it gives him a bit of exercise down here so uh ready to don't jump don't, wait 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 go see if we can pick any more they are look they are coming up and now i started picking the ball up bear with me a second uh just trying to figure out where the cam where the actual camera's uh, pointed to on here Bernie, I, I don't know whether you've seen the beginning there. This is where the main colony is across the other side. Now, there are actually cormorants over on the picture there. And then we've got the main colony of seals. I'm just trying to... There we go. That's the start of the main colony there. And it actually goes down and down and down and down and down and down and down. That is all seals across there, believe it or not. There must be about, oh, there's got to be a good five, six hundred seals, I'd imagine. And that is County Wexford over, that's Wexford Town actually over the top there. There's one which is actually just coming really, really close to me here. It's actually more or less up on the bank. Oh my god. Yeah, it's right in front of me now, look. How cool is that, guys? You just kneel 
down right because I well, can't hear you, the music's getting louder. Grant, oh no. I don't know whether you've seen him there. He was literally, he's coming for you, get some photos. I know, I was actually broadcasting there and I don't have you. I, I had the tri I had it on the tripod earlier as well. I wanted to actually just take it off just to show you around me, but he come in very, very close. Just so, so inquisitive. Just so beautiful to see. Yeah, I was a little bit slow with the camera there because I had uh, I had this gimbal in my hands. And that's probably my best chance to get a, a really good close up there. I've, I've got the zoom lens on, so I'm not too concerned. But yeah, that would have made a great picture actually. Hopefully, we'll. Uh, in time, they may come back again. Who knows? He was interested in Teddy. He was, Dave. Dead right. I think that's what they more are, because they are classed as sea dogs. And like I say, if, I, if you didn't catch what I was saying earlier on, like Snoop, my other dog before, he actually gave one a kiss. One was actually up on the beach and uh, Snoop went over to it, sniffed it and actually gave it a kiss. And it was so, so beautiful to actually see. It's one of them fantastic moments like where, ah, it was just so wonderful. But considering the start of the broadcast now, there's not so many actually in the water now. They've actually all gone back up on the bank in and like I say, that's where they all are across the other side there. There's literally hundreds, guys. Oh, Grant, I just realized what Grant said earlier. He said the music's too loud. He's out at the band now. I, I forgot. I would have thought he was, uh, I've got, yeah, ah, oh, I just realized the time now. It's 20 to 12, guys. So uh, I think what we should do is jump across to, I'm just going to bring my tripod back a bit. I'm going to, uh, bear with me a second. There's one doing push ups on the other seal's back. I know. <laughs> but isn't that just beautiful guy what i might do is have a little break and uh take a few pictures let people jump across to grant he's out watching a, a great band at the minute like guys so maybe if we can uh look at this lad that's all he cares about is is, is ball. uh bit of the band and then what i'll do i'll come back in about half an hour's time guys and just give you uh before we leave here i'm going to take a few pictures play with teddy for a little bit with the ball and everything like that and uh i will come back in about half an hour's time guys and should give you a last view watch the tide what well, i know john exactly yeah there, you, there he goes uh i will watch the tide i don't particularly want to get wet today but uh are oh, you welcome tina you're welcome thanks jess so guys for the time being Jump across to Grant there. He's broadcasting, I think, uh, one of the bands he goes to see. Go and enjoy the beautiful music there, or the heavy music as far as I know. And I'm going to leave you with that one last look at the beautiful seals here on Coraclo Beach here in County Wexford in Ireland, guys. For the time being, have a wonderful day. Appreciate your uh, company. Appreciate the wards, guys. And most of all, stay safe, be happy, and be kind. So you know what it is for myself and Teddy and the 500 odd uh, seals here on Coraclo Beach. It's a